Hi, I'm Andy Shepherd, and this is Greatness Through Grooming, brought to you by Ilk London. Today, I'm joined by grooming expert Sam Otway. He's a three-time British hairdressing champion and co-founder of men's grooming range closed on Monday. So, first of all, I want to bring in our, our lovely model, Dan. Dan, come on in. Come on in, Dan. So, Dan is sporting what we're going to call a short beard. Sam, what, what counts as a short beard? Well, a short beard generally is a beard that is longer than stubble, generally tends to be between 5 and 15 millimetres, the equivalent of a grade 3 or a grade 4. The important thing to do when you're at this stage is to get the foundations right and start making sure that for the first 7 to 10 days, you keep taking the beard back to that same length, back to that grade 3, grade okay. 4. Keep doing that. The reason for that is that any areas that you've got that are a little bit patchy or maybe a little bit weak or areas of low, low growth density, what that will do is it'll encourage those to catch up with the stronger hairs and then from that point it can all grow down together and you'll get a much thicker, fuller beard. One of the best things you can do is to make sure that anything below the Adam's apple is removed and then just follow that line down concave. Oh, okay. And the reason that we concave. do that is that although it might look strange when the chin's up, when the head comes back down you'll find that that line is nice and straight and actually makes the neck look a lot thinner. Ah, oh, great tip. The second thing to remember is to make sure that the, uh, the hairs on, top of the, on, on the top lip are kept nice and clean because this will make it look nice and sharp. The other thing is that any hairs that grow on the cheek, so any hairs that grow above the sort of uh, the, the, the high cheekbone line, any of those hairs need to be removed as well probably every one to two days. That's going to keep that line looking nice and sharp and it's going to enable it to grow down but still remain some smartness as well. When the beard is at this length, a moisturiser is going to be ideal because there's still quite a lot of skin on show. So those products would be perfect for this length beard. Um, Sam, thanks a lot. If you guys have got any questions, fire them over. Uh, we can be found on social media at Oak London. Sam, thanks for that and we'll see you guys soon.